Welcome to today's video. I am letting my extravagant hussy come through today. I am sorry. Attention, warning, expensive products to be shown. I know, I feel like I have this unwritten contract with you guys that I'm supposed to bring you uh, drugstore and affordable, but the fact of the matter is I do everything here on my channel because I feel like sometimes the value of something could be worth, you know, budget worthy, I guess is what I'm saying. So it doesn't have to be cheap to be worth it. Um, and also you guys, if this isn't for you and you don't want to hear about Chanel makeup, you know, I have plenty of drugstore and bargain of the week and other videos you can check out and then come back tomorrow and I'll have something for you. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> um, but for those of you who are still hanging on, I am happy to share with you a review of the new Chanel line, the Le Beige Collection from, or I should say for the summer. Uh, the foundation is new and just launched, I believe last week. And they've actually had this powder, I think, um, and maybe they're renaming it or it's, you know, kind of to go along with the foundation. I'm not sure. Um, however, these are the two products I bought. There's some other uh, nail and lip products and I believe there's an eyeshadow quad. I did not get because they are expensive. Um, I think these two products uh, we're in the $50 range, high 50s, like $58. And um, I went to, for those of you who followed me on Snapchat, I went to a master class at a Nordstrom uh, recently, and it was all about Chanel, and it was for customers. It wasn't anything special because I'm a blogger or anything like that. And it was free, and it was so nice. Um, they had it. They had coffee and pastries and they had tables set up and um, every product was out there, all the skincare and we got to put it on and they talked about it and um, it was kind of fun. It took like an hour and if you're, um, you know, Nordstrom, if anyone ever offers you something like that, take them up on it. Uh, there was no obligation um, and of course I bought something because I kind of knew I would. Um, I wanted to check these out. I've heard about the La Beige Foundation just on my own. Um, it's sort of this healthy glow foundation. It's a semi-matte, so it's matte because with summer, so you know, it helps uh, control shine, but it also gives the skin kind of a healthy glow. And I just, I wanted to check it out. Also, the powder is really cool because it has an SPF in it. And the theory behind that is, of course, that it just provides more sun protection. But you can use it like a bronzing powder or you can use it like your setting powder. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, let's dig in. All I'm wearing is sunscreen already. I actually just got a sample packet of their UV fluid um, SPF 50 and I wanted to, so I just thought I'll put that on. Oh, oh, thank goodness. So we had different tester units at the masterclass and I wasn't sure if the bottle actually came with the pump and it does. So here it is. I um, color matched myself to be um, number 32 rosé, which is a fair shade, but I kind of didn't want to go too fair. It's kind of maybe for me, if I self tan, I can probably bronze it up a bit. Um, like I said, it does has, have SPF 25 and, um, you know, let's, let's get into it. Or how about this? I'll show you the powder. Okay. And so here's the powder. Uh, packaging, of course, is lovely. I mean, it comes in a glass bottle. Yes, it comes with a pump. And um, here we have a fancy velvet pouch, Chanel. Um, and then oh, look at this compact, you guys. How cool is that? It's like so chic. Hello, Chance Elysee. Um, okay, so then I've already kind of, I, I have dipped in this comes with this little uh, brush, which feels nice. 
I don't know if I'll ever use this though, but it actually feels really nice. Um, and then here you are, here's the product. So what I liked about this powder is that when I applied it, and even when I applied it from the tester in the store um, weeks ago, it's very soft. So it doesn't have that powdery texture. It almost has a sheen to it. And, um, you know, I think that definitely always because I am someone who's dry, but I like to powder to set my makeup, sort of a non-powdery powder is always appealing to me. And of course, if you like, you know, a real heavy duty powder, then I get that too, because maybe you're oily. Um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, they, it was funny, they were like, oh, you know, less is more. And I'm like, no, more is more. So we had brushes to apply everything with, and you know, everything was very subtle. But I think what really people were asking for this video, because they saw me on Snapchat, is I had a really good face day that day. I didn't wear any other makeup. I just wore the foundation and the powder. I did apply some of their concealer while I was there and some mascara. And I just felt like I had a really good face day. Like my face felt smooth and clear and flawless and natural looking all day long. It was a little strange. And granted, they did pile on, the, I put on so much product. Like I put on so much hydration, moisture, you know, that kind of thing. So that could all play into it. Um, and I did not buy any of the skincare. I did not just, you know, I could have spent $600 there if I wasn't careful. Okay, so let's take a few pumps of this out. And I'm just gonna apply it with, I think I'm gonna apply it with my Wayne Goss number 13. I feel like that's kind of a good, oh honey, I have, I laid this down after I washed it and I didn't check the bristles and they're a little bit cramped. Okay. So I'm just gonna apply like I do. It smells like nice. If you, I, I like the scent of products like Dior and Chanel and Guerlain and I just, I like that kind of cosmetic smell that these companies add. I know some people that's a turn off to them, but for me, I enjoy it. It just, it, to me it smells fresh and pretty and really makes me feel like a girly girl. <laughs> like, hmm. Of course, I mean, I appreciate the, I think the nice thing about, for me, at least I think in Dior's case, their fragrances come from botanical ingredients. At least that's what the gal has told me at the counter, is that they have their own, like, garden in France, and they use ingredients that, um, you know, in order to create that scent. And I think Chanel does the same thing. I, this foundation may not be that exciting right now, but I'm just gonna kind of let it sort of melt into my skin and hang out there for a minute. Um, I am gonna do some, I'm gonna do a little Becca under eye corrector. Haven't used this product in a while, kind of missed it. Been very loyal to my Maybelline. So I'm just gonna stick that. The gal um, at the class, she actually did the whole, um, she took the blush, there's new cream blush sticks, and she took the orangey kind of peach blush shade and put it in the corner of the eye on her model. And I did the same on myself, and I have to say, it did a good job of counteracting the gray. Um, so it's getting me to really look into more of the peachy shades for correctors. I usually use the pink, but I'm wondering if I could even go darker into the peach shade. Uh, usually the dark skins, like the Indian complexions, Indian women, you know, they'll use the red, you've seen on Pinterest, the, the red lipstick trick for concealer. Um, and you know, it's, it does make a good corrector. Uh, you just do have to apply concealer over it. Uh, otherwise you will look like Helene on, a, Helena on a Orphan Black. Let me know if you watch Orphan Black. Okay, I am gonna go cheap school here and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. You guys, I'm not gonna lead you that far astray. 
I don't own any Chanel items. I thought I thought about this. I was like, do I have any Chanel makeup? Oh, I take that back. I have the um, the uh, cream I bought for my birthday last year. Those the cream uh, eyeshadow. Love those. And I've used the mascara, but only in the sample. Okay, so I've concealed just really lightly, and now I'm going to go in with the powder. And she used a um, she used a powder brush similar to this. It was a Chanel brush, of course, and she just kind of gently rolled over the product and rolled over the skin. She didn't like swirl it in. She just kind of pressed it in. And I thought that that was very nice and delicate and I was kind of like, oh, I kind of like to go to town more and, you know. <laughs> but really what she explained was like when you pour flour into water, when you, you know, when you're um, baking, not baking, like really baking in the kitchen and you sprinkle flour on water or milk or anything in, the, in a recipe and the flour just kind of floats on top versus if you dump the powder in and stir it, then the powder kind of gets all like cake batter. And so she's like, in order to avoid cake face, if you just sort of press gently the powder on top, it'll look more natural. I was like, Oh my gosh, she has a really good point. And this is shade 20. So, so here I am, very natural. I'm gonna go ahead for you and I'm just gonna kinda duplicate what I did. I'm gonna um, put on my Volume de Chanel Mascara in Noir. I didn't buy this, I have just a sample and it's kinda great. Uh, the Chanel mascara is one of those things where like people love it or hate it. Um, I've seen YouTubers with mixed uh, feelings <laughs> and um, I know some people really don't like it and I'm in the I really like it camp. <laughs> I just, I feel like it's, it's so great. It makes your lashes feathery. So if you want that feathery look versus the spidery long look, which you guys know I've been freaking out about with my Japanese mascara, then um, definitely look into, and they do have samples. So when you're at Nordstrom or Neiman's or Saks or any of those that carry Chanel, ask for a sample of the mascara. I've always had luck getting a little mascara sample. Now all I need is some bronzer and a nice lip and I'm set. <laughs> How funny is this? Let's use some bronze booster. Um, Good old physician's formula. Okay, so there you have it. Let me give you a close up of the foundation, my face. It's so natural. I do think if you are quite oily, you might want to use a mattifying primer. Um, for me, this is so comfortable with my dry skin. Um, I feel like it's enough matte and also comfortable and sort of dewy, like semi-matte. Um, and so I'm really pleased with this and I really think the powder is great because this way you can touch up with your powder and you're adding sunscreen protection. And honestly, sunscreen breaks down after like four hours. 
So you should be reapplying during summer days if you're outside a lot. So I'm kind of digging this. So I'm sorry to, you know, there you are. I've corrupted you. I've taken you over to the land of Chanel and shown you how great it is. Um, and <laughs> I, uh, I do enjoy this Le Beige collection and I might just be heading back to get myself an actual mascara. Um, let me know what you think uh, and if there's any other high-end products that you're interested in me trying out. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you've subscribed and click like and I will see you next time. Bye.